everybody's doing good. It's Friday, y'all. I am making a yummy, yummy dessert that my mother made. I went to visit her last week and she had a dessert that was out of this world. And I wanna make this, but the only problem is, is my husband can't stand pineapples. He cannot stand them. He was stationed in Hawaii for, I think about three years in his life in the service and all they serve on food is pineapples and he hates them to this day. And also, cherries. I'm not sure he likes cherries, but y'all know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna tell him I put the pineapples in it and I'm gonna see if he'll eat them. <laughs> because, you know, our taste buds change, y'all. So here we go, we're gonna make this. And all you need is just a few ingredients. For this recipe, you will need a 9 by 13 baking dish. Go ahead and oil that down with some olive oil. And you're going to need a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapples. We're going to pour those pineapples directly into this baking dish with the juice and all. Go ahead and spread that out. Now you will need two cans of cherry pie filling. These are 21 ounce cans. I think the original recipe calls for one can of cherry pie filling, but I really like cherries, so I use two cans. And if I'm not mistaken, my mother did too. I'm not sure about that. Now you're gonna wanna spread those cherries out on top of those pineapples. We're not gonna mix this, just spread it out. And now you'll need a yellow cake mix. We're just gonna pour that dry cake mix right on top of those cherries, spreading it out as evenly as you can. And we are going to use the whole cake mix. And it never fails, I always make a mess. Now I used a fork for this, but you are going to want to pack that cake mix down. So first I'm spreading it out, and then we're just gonna start packing it. Just pat it. You're gonna pack it into the pineapples and cherries. Our final ingredient is one and a half stick of butter, and that's real butter. I don't use anything else but real butter in this house. Wasn't that easy to throw together? And who's got time to cut 24 packs of butter? Just cut that stick of butter long ways. <laughs> Save yourself some time, people. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop this in the oven and I've got it on 350 degrees, it's already preheated, and this will actually cook anywhere from 50 minutes to one hour. I'll see y'all in a little bit, and I'll bring the ice cream. Oh, the smell in my house. This smells amazing. Oh, and you know what? I brought the ice cream. I told you I would. Now, it is midday, but I'm still gonna cut into this because I can't stand it. It smells so good. So let's get a piece of this while it's popping hot and put that ice cream on top. I didn't have any vanilla, all I've got is butter pecan because I love butter pecan. Oh, yum. Now I do know that I looked up a couple of recipes after my mom told me what she did and I thought, well, okay, is this an old recipe and I've never seen it? So I looked it up and this is actually a recipe. It's a pineapple cherry dump cake. Now, some people put pecans and coconut in here. Now, I could do the pecans. Oh, I could so do the pecans. And I think my mom put nuts in here too, but Mom, no, she did. She actually told me she put walnuts in it, but I could have done pecans. I love pecans, but my husband doesn't like them. And yes, he's a little picky, but you know what? It's gonna be good anyways. So I am going to put some butter pecan on top of mine because, hey, it's got pecans in it. Yum. It is steaming hot. Yes. Okay. Let's just 
つけるとあれですあ、oh, smells amazing うんうんうんオーケー、This is one good dessert。And that put a pecan ice cream on top of it, it just made it even better. <laughs> I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend. I'm gonna go finish my coffee.、Mm. Kudos to my mama. <laughs>